meeting order with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Down, please. five years ago maybe, the images from the Detroit Institute yeah. of Arts. So I met with the guy today, and we walked around town, and we picked out about 10 or 11 uh, places, most of them are city property, to put our images up. And this year, it is all from spring all the way to fall. So oh, they nice. used to split it up from like April to August, and August to October, but now you get them for the whole time. So, um, any questions or concerns before we go ahead? No, but my apologies to you, Judy. I saw that you had called me and texted me and I didn't get back to you. That's okay. Well, I think it's good. And uh, last time was a limited time. Uh, right, it was just a couple of weeks. Now it's the whole summer, so I'm really thrilled about that. Bart, I'll probably need your help with just. I know um, in the park there we had a little. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's why I'll need your help. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, just yeah, I'll let just you know. Off. They won't come until like April or something. Okay. It's exciting. Great yeah. job, Judy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very yeah. much. Mm -hmm. oh, I All right. Your address, um, by the way. He loved your house. Pardon? What's that? Bart, do you have anything? No. Okay. Uh, adoption of the agenda. And if there's no changes, I'll make a motion to adopt the agenda as presented. <coughs> Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Approval of uh, the minutes from December 1st, 2020. Any motion? I'll change the motion to the uh, December 8th. Support. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazer. Yes. I just want to say one thing. It's because we're in a so much bigger room. If everybody could just kind of try to speak up a little bit better for the camera. Oh, uh, when you're saying stuff. And for Pat, too, apparently. <laughs> well, I can't hear Larry at all. Oh, I heard this thing. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, presentation and approval of the uh, December disbursements for. 161, 759, and 45 cents, and the electronic wire transfers of transfers of fifteen thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and forty-five cents. Did I get a motion to approve? I'll make. Uh, okay. right I'll make a motion that we approve the December year disbursements of one uh, one hundred sixty thousand seven hundred fifty-nine dollars and forty-five cents, and the electronic wire transfers of fifteen thousand five hundred and twelve and forty-five cents. Support. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, communications. Um, Sage Creek Winery is here, and this is a, uh, it's more of a uh, informational thing. I don't think there's anything that we have to make a motion on, but um, they want to install a gas fireplace over at the uh, the winery and the lean to that they have off of the back and this is just to inform us um, we're just going to make sure that they stay in compliance with all the uh, the city's building codes whether it's uh, mechanical or uh, anything else we just but uh, Jeff if you would yep, sir. everybody uh, please don't know I'm Jeff Dalsey partner of Vince Hutchins we're the owners of Sage Creek Winery um, what we're trying to do is install a eight foot wide by seven foot high fireplace on the outside on the north side of our new veranda that we've built this summer. Um, 
It's going to be within our um, outdoor service area that is approved by the state of Michigan. Um, fireplace will be made out of stonery, uh, or sorry, masonry stone. There's gonna be a protective door. We will have a vent. Um, all the, the gas lines will be within code. All the structure, everything will be within code. Um, I do have a diagram. I'll pass along. any questions please let me know no I mean as long as you're going to stay in compliance with the uh, the mechanical codes and building codes that you know we have with the city yep, sir. I, uh, I don't see any problem with this. is there anybody else that has any other questions no, as, long as, as long as they are inspected by the, by the door. Yep, of course. so it's going on this side of the truck I think yep so yes yeah, north side okay Since it was a communication with us, and I get a motion to communicate from uh, Safety Creek Library. I'll make a motion to approve the communication to place on file. Support. Uh, Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I'm sure that everybody's uh, got their copy of the ordinance number 211 for gas Thanks, and oil and and that they've uh, read over it and studied it well. Um, can I get a, a motion to uh, adopt ordinance number 211? I'll make a motion to adopt ordinance number 211 in order to amend title 11 of the code of the city of Memphis regarding oil and gas wells. Support. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Carter? Yes. Maser? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Thanks, Donald Francis. It came out really nice. Uh, new business. Administrative memo uh, our budget amendments. Uh, Larry, do you want to go into this? or? Yeah, it, it, basically it's uh, just a basic adjustment of, of uh, some of the, relative, the grants that we received um, the uh, fire department, police department, and the purchase of the truck, so I'll make a motion to approve the administration uh, memo number three. So Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. All right. The fire department, uh, the purchase of vehicle installation of the iPads. And these iPads were bought um, through the, uh, the COVID money that came through uh, to us, and there was not enough money for the installation of the iPads and the vehicles. And, uh, so we have the additional cost of $5,234.96. Is there anything you want to add to this, Doug? I guess I'd add um, the reason for the iPads is both St. Clair County Medical Control and Macomb County Medical Control says that we have to have access to their protocols on our vehicles. Just having them at the station isn't good enough in order to retain our medical licenses with them. So we had to come up with a way to access those protocols on the vehicles during a time of a call. And this is what we came up with for that. So you have five of them? It's Four, I think. It was. Oh, I'm Five installed. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh. there is five. We got four new iPads and we had one already. Could I get a motion? I'll make a motion. The, uh, the uh, installation 
in the amount of four thousand one ninety four forty four. Work. Murder? Yes. Mazer? Yes. Riley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Uh, next, we have an invoice from Grace Medical Consulting <clears throat> for $1,138. Doug, you want to elaborate on this a little bit? Yeah. Um, Grace Medical helps us conduct some of our trainings during the year, and by employing them, they can issue continuing education credits to the participants in the training. All of us that have medical licenses on the department are required to have a certain number of continuing education credits for before we can renew our license. So this is a way for us to get those and training at the same time. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion to uh, pay this invoice from Grace Medical for $1,138. Okay. Mazur. Yes. Riley. Yes. Schneider. Yes. Sofa. Yes. Stoops. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Murder. Yes. Next up from the fire department, again an invoice from this is from Ding's Fire Company. Doug, you want to elaborate a little bit? Yep. This one is for two sets of turnout gear. Every year we budget to replace two sets of turnout gear. This is this year's two sets. Can I get a motion to pay the invoice? I'll make that motion to uh, pay $4,600 to Dingus Fire Company for turnout gear. Support. That's correct, Larry. Briley? Yes. Schneider? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Duke? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Murder? Yes. Mason? Yes. All right. Um, from the mayor, I don't have a lot of room. Wishing everybody a happy new year. And let's hope that uh, 2021 is a lot better than 2020. Um, with that, Eric? I have nothing, sir. Larry? Yes, I do. Um, you, you got a memo um, in the, the packets, and it's a uh, reference to the library and the community center. And uh, as you know, a year ago, the uh, Millish uh, failed to. Uh, actually uh, put up a new building so I guess you've got two alternatives either we fix what has to be fixed over there we have another 20 months from now another village proposal but what um, there's things that have to be addressed they've been uh, things that should have been done probably years ago to make the building <coughs> more accessible to handicap etc uh, Bart and I uh, went through there um, around the uh, first week of December. And uh, the, the, the few issues- You went through with Justin too also, correct? I, no, Justin uh, I think went through with Carol, I believe. Okay. But yeah, but uh, I did talk to Justin too, by the way, a couple of times on this, uh, this afterwards. But uh, the, uh, the first, of course, is the uh, uh, platform lift. We looked at two alternatives. We looked at a library, and uh, I mean, I'm sorry, an elevator, and, and we looked at a ramp. And, uh, but uh, a platform lift, and, and I did talk to the people that uh, put the install these, and I got, uh, just that this is a verbal quote, they have to come out and look at it, it would be about, uh, platform lift would be about $6,000, and a, a commercial stair lift would be about 4,500, elevator, and we had this quoted before, was approximately $18,000. And uh, they, uh, and the, uh, the other was the egress on the main uh, main floor in the basement at the back. And that is, uh, I don't know what the real show to call this, it's really bad back there. And uh, that whole ceiling needs to be raised, the window eliminated, handrails installed, and handicapped doors and uh, up on the rear exit. And uh, what I would like is uh, Mel McNutt give us a quote so we have a price on that. Uh, the library entrance and the bathroom heat it needs heat. Um, uh, Bart and I looked at that, and we're, we'd like to have a first man look at it and see if the, um, the heat that we do have, the hot air, uh, can be somehow channeled in there to heat those uh, those uh, areas. 
we need emergency lights uh, uh, for uh, if there's a case of a power failure at various places through it. I talked to Justin on that as well. He has a he has a company he uses, so I'd like to get a quote on that. Um, the, uh, the basement rooms uh, kind of a mess down there when we went through it. There was boxes in the aisleways and so on. And I'd like to see if that somehow can be cleaned up and maybe I don't know how important anything is. I have no idea. See if it can be cleaned up a little bit better. Um, there, the drainage, uh, there is a drainage problem. Uh, Mark and I uh, looked at that and, and we think that can be solved as well. So my uh, question for council is, or my what I'd like is just uh, uh, approval that uh, we can go and get uh, votes on all of this and uh, if we have to take money out of the rainy duty fund, I'd like to actually do that and uh, get that done this year. Um, the uh, our cash, uh, our general fund balance right now is about uh, seven hundred twenty-eight thousand. Our uh, CDs, um, we have two CDs that started at five hundred. I think now with the interest, there was up to five. There, I think there's thirty-two thousand interest, and if. Uh, if, if we need be, I think uh, renewing them at 250 and putting that money back into the uh, general fund, we could go a long way in uh, getting these things done. So, if council agrees, I'd like to Bart and I get, start the project and get some uh, get some quotes and see what we can go. Okay, get a motion to uh, move forward with uh, making the improvements. We're make getting that. estimates for the improvements. Right, I'll make that motion. I'll support it. Schneider? Yes. Stoops? Yes. Sofa? Yes. Wilson? Yes. Martyr? Yes. Mazur? Yes. Riley? Yes. And the only other thing is, I'd like to say goodbye to 2021. It was a very bad year. 2020. 2020. I'm sorry, 2020. Yeah. And I'm very optimistic that 2021 will be better if we get the viruses uh, for the, the uh, people immunized. <coughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Mark. Ken? Uh, nothing. Robbie? Nothing, thank you. Scott? Nothing. Jason? Uh, nothing. Uh, motion to adjourn. Oh,